Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> How are we doing? Hello, everybody. Hey, how are you doing, Maggie? I'm sorry. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, y'all, we're going to get started. We are going to get started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jackie. I am a financial coach. What I do is I help individuals build and buy their dream home, dream car. Hello, David. How are you doing today? And create that dream business. Listen, this is the second day of July and I am serious. Y'all see my face? I am serious. Um, this month, we're focusing on launching or relaunching, okay? So today's topic is business challenges. Um, this, this broadcast is for the current entrepreneur. Hello, Bailey. Thank you for joining me. How are you doing? Hey, Bailey, you all right? Um, for the entrepreneur that faces challenges, um, at the end, I, I may go over. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hate that it froze anyway. So, um, I'm gonna offer a solution at the end. So I'm gonna try to make this as brief as possible. So business challenges some business challenges many people in business face um shortage of capital cash flow having a good business plan you know that could be a challenge coming up with a product or service uh sticking to it right making more well, excuse me working more than you expected to work um, another challenge is getting through the frustrations of being um, constantly rejected by customers. Uh, another challenge is hiring good employees um, and also having to wear many hats, managing your time and managing some type of work-life balance. It's extremely frustrating as an entrepreneur, but the benefits outweigh the challenges. And as an entrepreneur, you as, as your business grows, sometimes you have to, well, not sometimes, you have to reset or create a, re, a new purpose or a new goals in order to reach your ultimate goal. Let's dig in, let's dig in. Let's talk about it, let's talk about it. Um, let's talk about it. Okay, so one of the things is, um, when if you read books, if you read books or you listen to certain um, financial gurus, they will tell you that you should have um, anywhere from six months to one year savings, right? Um, and this is for the person, the entrepreneur that wants to actually become full time in their business. And the reason being is because as you're trying to uh, grow your business, you have peaks and valleys, right? You have times where, especially in the beginning, where sales aren't quite as good and sometimes they're they're wonderful. Um, and but you you still accrue bills. You have still have fixed price, um, variable prices associated with the business, and you also have your personal business and many entrepreneurs especially when they're brand new often work um their full-time job and run a business and that can even be even more challenging and the reason why they do it 
is because they understand that, okay, today I may not be making the money to where I can just quit my job because I may or may not have. Hello, thank you for joining me, Carlton. Uh, Carpenter, Carlton. What's that, Tamika? Thank you for joining me. Um, they may or may not have um, created that savings. Um, a lot of businesses, you'd be surprised, a lot of businesses have developed because of lack. Because your, your full-time job is not giving you enough money or enough revenue in order to meet your expenses and definitely not enough to even think about dreaming. So people create what they call a side hustle, right? In order to alleviate the lack of cash, both in their business and and their personal finances. Now, having a good business plan is wonderful. And there is a lot that really goes into a business plan that people don't understand. Um, hello, Terrell. Thank you for joining me. How are you doing? Oh, and, and somebody named Jones, Ron Jones, or is that, oh, that's part of your name. Okay, cool. Thanks for joining me. Hello, Pastor Samuel. Thanks for joining. Anyway, so it can be really frustrating, right? Um, you hear a lot of information out there about, hello, Flawless Skin. Thank you for joining me. Um, information about what should and should not go into a business plan, right? And I am going to cover that later on in the week but not today. Anyway, so the thing about it is the thing you have to understand that there are, or there should be two types of business plans, right? And I'll talk about that more later on, on in the week. The, the, one of the most popular frustration that entrepreneurs have, hello Leroy, thank you for joining me, is coming up with a great product of service to reach their client, right? And it can be difficult because you're, hello, Queen Lee, entrepreneur. It can be difficult because you're a new entrepreneur and you may lack funding, right? And then you, you, you ask yourself, now how can I increase my income and I already don't have any money as it is, right? This is where having a financial coach comes comes in. But you know what? There's an investment even in that because you have to understand. If you want, um, you there is a saying, it's, and it's also a, a biblical scripture that you reap what you sow, right? So if you expect, if you expect to get these results, if you expect to get these fun, this funding to appear in your personal finances and in your business, you have to, hello, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me. You have to make an investment. You have to make an investment that takes time. And yes, it takes money and it takes a whole lot of effort getting past the challenges that new entrepreneurs face. But listen, I have a solution that I want to tell you about. Right now, I'm doing a special. Yes. Um, one of the things I did just for my own particular business to, um, to repurpose or reposition is I no longer, hello, hello, Tones, how you doing? Um concerning my consultation like people want free but they don't want to invest right so those are the people who are not serious about their business right because if you're running around looking for free advice or free things you don't have what it takes or have what you need okay to be successful because any entrepreneur 
who is successful will tell you whether they're working for themselves. Okay. Whether they, no matter what level they is, they're in, they will tell you it took investment. It takes your time. It takes your money. And it takes effort to be a success, right? I actually have this uh, new program that I am emailing the people that are on my email list, right? One of the things I did for my own business is, is I changed the way that I do consultations, right? At one time, I used to do consultations and they were absolutely free but I had to repurpose them that doesn't mean that the free consultation won't never come back but I am serious about my business and I only want to help people who are serious about their business okay so listen if you're ready to make that move there are things that are services that I have available right in order to connect with me i just posted a link a link where you can schedule you a consultation and yes there is a small fee but here's the deal with that that fee is then applied to a service To a service when you sign up for one of the particular programs based on whatever package that you need hello thank you for joining me for those who don't see the link that that's on instagram or on um or on youtube on youtube i will post it in the comments but for instagram you just click the link in my bio and you will be able to schedule Anyway, hello, how are you doing today, Cher? So I'm only taking, I'm looking for 19 because I have this program. It's called, I renamed it, right? One of the reasons why I renamed it is because I wanted to make it easier to remember, right? Because originally I posted to my um, email clients the offer the offer but i decided to allow to open it up because my goal is to get 19 people in this this program to to the program is called pick three right and the reason why it's called pick three is because in this program you get the opportunity to sort of build your own package package based on the products and services that i provide right but to get more information about what's in the pick three what options do you have you have to schedule a you have to schedule an appointment to qualify that's how serious i am about my business of course, more information will be posted soon. Hello, Tech May. Will be posted soon. But anyway, don't let that stop you. If you need, if you are having struggles, struggles with capital and, and cash, struggles with creating a business plan, struggles with creating a great product or service, struggles with sticking to what your ultimate goal is um struggle uh having more work than you expected getting through the frustrations of being rejected by customers hiring good employees knowing when to fire bad employees having to wear so many hats managing your time maintaining some a good work life balance that means you need assistance right and i can offer that so what you do for instagram you go to the link in my bio and you schedule an appointment. You schedule an appointment. It's just as simple as that. Because what happens is you schedule an appointment once you agree to this product 
I mean, excuse me, to these services, then we'll begin. The frustration ends when you get the right help to assist you in building. So you don't have to be frustrated. You don't have to do it all yourself. Hello, Suzette. How are you doing? You don't have to do it all by yourself. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in my bio or go to Jackie, www.jackiemckeever.com and I put it in the, the link. Hello, Tones, how are you doing? You doing all right? Hello, Carly, how, what's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, that is wonderful. See, because one of the things that an entrepreneur, uh, one of the things where entrepreneurs fail is they believe that because they start a brand new business that they have to learn everything and they have to know everything and they have to do everything by themselves. No, you do not. You do not have to do it by yourself. If you are modeling after people who are more successful or big businesses, you will notice that they have, excuse me, they have numerous, hello, thank you for joining me. They have people who work for them or work with them in building. So you don't have to do it by, they, by yourself, okay? Be smart, be wise, click the link in the bio and get help today. That's all I have. That's my time, y'all. Hello, how you doing? Sharon the Vegan, I had just talked about um, the, the biggest challenges in starting a business or launching a product because this month is July and we're focused on um, launching products and services. And throughout parts of your business, especially when they're new, we have shortage of cash flow, shortage of capital, um, having problems with having a good business plan, coming up with products and uh, products or services, sticking to it, um, working more than you expected, being frustrated by rejected customers, hiring good employees, that can be a challenge, knowing when to fire employees and having to wear so many hats, managing your time and and balancing work life with uh with your your personal life and one of the reasons is is because you have not found anybody or hired anybody to do the work for you one of the things that i got frustrated when i began um when i began got deep off into having a business is having the wrong the right employee that was really frustrating it's not that i would would not get employees it's just that they didn't really some of i'd have a couple employees that did not have the drive that i did you know so it was important when you connect to people that they're the right people to help you build right because you don't want to just throw money out there and you're not you're not reeking what you sold out so it's important that you learn the things that you need in order to uh, how to hire the best people. And it really does not matter much whether they're virtual or whether you see them live and in person. What matters is the quality, okay, the quality and the quantity that those individuals put out for your business. And I've also had just the opposite where the, the person, they had good hopes, right? But they, they allowed an anxiety to get the best of them. And so they went ghost. They went ghost and it was crazy and it was frustrating. But yes, I got through it, through it. And the best thing I can do for other entrepreneurs is teach. Teach you the skills that I've learned, right? Y'all, once again, my name is Jackie. I am a financial coach. What I do is I build and buy. 
Uh, excuse me. I Excuse me. Let me reset. My name is Jackie. I'm a financial coach. What I do is I help individuals build and buy the dream home, dream car, and create that dream business. In a nutshell, I'm a purpose pusher, okay? If you are ready to build, I'm only looking for 19 people that's serious and ready to cultivate, ready to, uh, ready for their business to mature, okay? And you need help building. Contact me today at the link in the bio. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye. Make sure y'all like, share this broadcast also. Sharing is caring.